Hello everyone, and welcome to the credenza in the library. We have many, many books here in the library to go through, and today I thought that maybe we'd start reading through some of them, starting specifically in the book of unsubstantiated rumors, Canard. Today we're going to go through the rats and read their life's tales, as we have recently turned them into books and, well, I feel somewhat bad for not having at least read the lives that we have taken. My name is Lenny. Want to hear a secret? This is kind of embarrassing, but I used to have a dream once, like Pete does now. Yeah, I know. I'm still younger than him, with a long future ahead of me. But what could I do? Life's too rough for that. Others say that the rats are a pathetic bunch who are too incompetent to even join the smallest syndicate, let alone a wing. Filthy losers who feed on junk and leftovers, not making any effort to change. Back when I was a young kid, I didn't like that. I thought that I was better than those rats. So I decided to get into an examinee town. Little did I know that that would be the one choice I regret the most. I begged and nagged at my parents wanting to achieve that stupid dream. How'd it go, you ask? Seems you're just as stupid, aren't you? I wouldn't be hanging around these fellows if I made it, now would I? What I'm saying is that dreaming won't do jack shit for you. They didn't end up here because they gave up trying. Hell, they wouldn't have even set foot in this gutter in the first place if they had what it takes to achieve their dreams. You get it now? Pete is a huge idiot. My name is Meng Chi. Yo, did you know that there's grades for each alley in the back streets? Funny, ain't it? Trash in a trash can grading each other. The parts that are under the protection of a syndicate, office, or association are pretty safe. Sweepers can't raid those streets easily, putting the people who live there in a different grade from those who don't. Though, it's pointless. I mean, honestly speaking, though, sure, it's a bit safer over there, but we're talking about the back streets. You get it? You know what's even funnier? The kids would group themselves up according to what part of the streets they lived in. They'd even shun the others whose clothes or manners didn't fit their turf style. I had no choice but to accept this sad truth. You, you wondering how things were in the alleys that I lived in? I couldn't afford to pay protection fees to a syndicate, so the sweepers came down at night and collected most of my neighbors. I had to witness them take chunks of flesh out of my parents and my brothers while they were still breathing. <laughs> well, don't pity me, though. My story ain't nothing special around here. Hey, my name's Pete. Not a lot of peeps hang around the back streets alone, because that's just madness. We can downy folk got a band together to survive get into a small syndicate or anything to make a living somehow. Some ignorant fool makes a scene in the back streets on their own. They're just making themselves a target as soon as others notice that they're alone. That's why we move in groups. We're called rats for a reason. We crawl about the dark in packs and jump at prey for the chance to bite them apart when we spot one. So you're wondering if rats have any dreams? Hmm. I guess, belong into a proper syndicate, if any. We're just too tacky and amateurish to be called one. We hate being bound by the rules, so hell will freeze over before any of us joins an office, and no rat I know would move into an examinee town and study for the wing entrance exams. Those nerds at the examinee towns ain't too different from rats like us. We're all dreaming silly dreams that'll never come true with our petty skills. An office, a wing, a syndicate, or whatever. Think it's easy to belong to a decent group? People just accept what they got and live on. But still, I, I wanted to have a dream.